Are you ready to hear about our Lord and Savior, the Overnight Oats? It's a game changer. <laughs> All right, week 10 update, let's go. So we have made it to digits. It is 10 weeks since I started my fitness journey. I have come a long, long way. Uh, I had a physical check-in today. It's Monday on week 11 today uh, with my coach. More will be about that in the next update, of course, because that will be for the next week. This, however, is gonna be like my big, big. Overnight, overnight oats, oats week. I talked about it a little bit last time, um, but this has really been like a game changer for me. I tried it five-ish years ago without success. It was not a good thing. It was not anything for me. I didn't quite get like the right consistency. I didn't right, get the right ingredients and stuff, the right combination, all of it didn't work out. I tried again now and this time around it really just hit right bullseye. So we're starting with Monday. Check out this clip from Monday the 10th. So I'm testing out these um, overnight oats and I've never really been a big fan of overnight oats but I'm gonna try anyways and see how it is. It's like a moussey consistency they are with chocolate and uh, Greek yogurt and it's not that bad I actually do have the macros here give me one second because I made it yesterday and I wrote it down in case I needed it yes 43 grams of protein 38 grams of carbohydrate and 10 and a half grams of fat so it's not low fat but it definitely isn't high fat. And I would say like the carbohydrates, good ones, they're from oatmeal. I'm not much of a sweet breakfast person, but this is actually okay. Yes, I'll be making more of this. This was good. So after I had my breakfast, I went downtown to meet my mother because we were gonna do a like tourist in your own city kind of thing. Uh, I am on vacation or I have vacation right now. I have time off work. So I was able to just like get out and enjoy the city. It was a really nice day. It was super duper duper hot though. And uh, walking around when it's super hot, you have to have your water, which we had a bunch of, it was fine. But we had 15,000 steps, which if you know, like when you're walking, you, you're usually walking a lot, but it was, it was a lot. <laughs> I was quite, um, my legs were quite sore after. I wore good shoes, but it was still pretty far and it was super hot. I also did have lunch when I got home, which you will see a clip of here. And I also did go to the gym at the evening. I did work out my upper body, got my boyfriend to help me do some clips of like my muscles and stuff. I'm starting to see, or I'm not starting, but I'm seeing progress. I'm seeing that I'm starting to get more of like nice V shape. My lats are getting uh, bulkier and I really, really like seeing this kind of progress. It's really encouraging. That's the word I'm looking for. It's encouraging and it's, um, it shows that we're on the right track. Uh, Tuesday. 11th not much happened in terms of working out but i did uh film my dinner which you will see on screen now and i also did stream uh during the evening it was a really nice day not much happened but you need some of these days as well wednesday i started the day with another overnight oats i will like a side note here, I will be making a recipe video for my overnight oats so you guys can see what kind of recipe and what kind of combination of ingredients I'm using and what works for me. I also give you some tips on toppings that I enjoy because there's so much you can do once you get like the base ingredients and then you can add almost everything under the sun and you can add some spices and this and that and you can make it 
you can make it go in all different directions, which is great because it's a very neutral kind of base on it. Okay, so Thursday, I made some cottage cheese pancakes. These are so good. I have, it's been a couple of years since I made them. They are super filling. They are protein dense. They are low carb. They are fantastic. <laughs> I'm also planning on doing some recipe videos. I will do these uh, cottage cheese pancakes. I will do the overnight oats. I do have some other pancake recipes that I also want to share. Uh, but I'm just like right now getting back into making these things that I did make f a couple of years ago when I was more into fitness. Uh, so I just want to like test out and see how the recipes are working out before I start making a video on it so I know exactly how the measurements are and stuff. But these cottage cheese pancakes are so simple. It's three ingredients. Everyone can do this. It's super simple. It's, it tastes really well. It's very versatile. You can pair with everything from jam to peanut butter. It's, they're just fantastic. I also did work out my upper body. Uh, this Thursday. Friday was workout free day. Not much to say about anything else on this day. I did stream in the evening and then Saturday was also workout like off, did not work out. <laughs> uh, but I filled the day out with other things because you need to do that too. Not everything is about dieting and working out, but it's, um, it's very important to have all these other things that kind of fill up your days and make them special. Sunday did work up my lower body and um, I did, this day at the gym was so hard. Like I managed to do the weight that I did the previous time I did that program. I think I increased a little bit, but I had, I was, I was, bottom of barrel reaching uh, for energy and things like the what I needed this was a this was a tough day at the gym it wasn't like bad or anything I just I just felt like I didn't have like the proper amount of energy but after the gym felt great uh, it's a great like mood booster for me um, so I felt great anyways uh, but I had to work a little extra. I had to like, it was a little bit extra mental strain to actually finish this day, which happens, it's, it's normal. We did make some protein pancakes for supper. These are, when you make them like we do, because we do like a batch of, I think it's like 20 pancakes each batch and they're pretty low calorie. And it's pretty filling because you have oatmeal and stuff in there. So it's, um, it's, it's great. Um, also as a base, like for jam or peanut butter or cheese, um, they're really neutral in taste. So you can spend them with everything. These, uh, I also want to do like a recipe video on because they're super simple as long as you like get into it. So what I'm taking from this week, um, I did not sleep well this week. I don't know what it is. I have no clue. I had some really bad sleep and uh, I, I think that is also why I felt it when I went to the gym on Sunday that I just didn't have anything to give. Um, so it made it a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. I still felt like I was able to like keep my mood up and uh, have energy elsewhere, which is also very important. Um, and I didn't feel it like that heavily when I was at the gym, but I'm also in the phase of my menstrual cycle where I have energy, which also means that I'm not as sensitive for like fluctuations in energy and stuff. Um, but there's something that I need to like work more on is my sleep. Uh, I think I need, just need to like prioritize getting to bed a little earlier and doing things. I'm not sure what things, but things uh, in order to make sure that I get enough sleep. 
and quality sleep, at least. So that is gonna be like a little project for the next week and then next week I will also give you more updates on my check-in with a coach and, um, and all that for then. I hope you have a great week. Take care of yourselves, take care of the ones you love and uh, yeah, stay strong. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.